So yes, this is uh, back on the YouTube. This is going to be on my channel and Fassi's channel. Um, check it out. He's 8.5 weeks out. He was last year 17 weeks out. So you'll see a contrast. You'll see a difference. Um, it's always good. I had Marcus down as well. We'll try to put some snippets on the screen. Um, it's always good to look at my guys. So Fass, how are you feeling eight and a half weeks out? Probably the best position I've been in. Uh, feels food so good. Training, probably the best thing. Still strong, able to keep up with Chase. And yeah, just I'm fucking excited to get on stage. Good, so we're going to show you how we train today, deltoids, then we're going to look at him, run through what's next in prep, and let's rock and roll. You'll, you'll see the session. And yeah, any questions, drop them below, drop us a DM, and we'll answer them. I'm Fassi's first ever coach. Um, took him from a lifestyle client to getting in shape to his first show, and now we're pushing it, climbing up the show ranks, competing at a higher standard this year. So I've got the pleasure of having an in-person check-in. They're quite pivotal to see where your clients are in person and to see how they truly look. So today we're going through delts. Um, he's got me training on my rest day, but we're going to train, see how he looks. He had a refeed yesterday, so just see the benefits of that. Fast don't listen, so I know we're going to tweak his posing and make sure he's posing correctly. Come on. One more. Come on, come on, come on. Up, up. Good, solid. So, obviously doing delts today. Warmed up to deltoid with the, the cable side raise. Faster than prep, so I'll do most of the talking. And now we're getting onto the compound. So we always do an ISO before we get into the compound. But this is the biggest compound. Because it's a big compound, probably a bit more rest in between the set. But this will be the main compound. Then we'll have one more main compound. And then probably just go into isolation movements. Where he's under nine weeks out now. Fatigue starting to creep in. Starting to feel a bit shit. So we're cautious about how many heavy compounds we put in the session. I'm still going to try to push myself. I'm going to try and lift heavier than him. <laughs> if you want to work, remember, don't, don't try and keep up with me. You're in a different position. If you're in prep, whenever you're with, if you want to work, you work. It's your set, yeah? <laughs> Prep, no prep, I'm dieting as well. And just started dieting, so my strength's still there. But we always try to keep the weight as heavy as possible. What built the muscle is gonna keep the muscle. What built the muscle will keep the muscle. No, no, we're out of retirement today, bro. Let's go. Come on. Let's go. I got it. One. Easy. Two. Come on. Three. Four. Five, six, five, six, five, six, five. Push! Good, lock that. You see Chase? He just got six reps. So what am I gonna do? I'm gonna try and beat him. That's what I'm gonna try to do. I'm gonna try to get eight. Yo, do you wish me luck? Do you think I can do it? <laughs> Come on. Three, two, one, let's go. Mike, let's go. Come on. Two. Three. Four, five, six. Come on. Come on. Back off set, two plates. Big set stand, back off. Accumulate a bit more volume. Reduce the weight, keep the form strict. The compound, the, the progressive overload sets are great, but these are the muscle builders. <laughs> Let's get it. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Come on, big set. Ten. Oh, two more, two more, two more. You're on prep. Come on. Come on. That's good. Up. Three, four, five, five, six, seven. Come on. Eight, all the way up. I got it, I got it. Nine, ten, six. Hey, I'm gonna put the wraps on when he's not looking. I need them. Drive it out, two. Full extension, three. Good, now he's working. Four. Up. One more, one more. That's it. So, big compound, son. 
your meat and potatoes, your main course, this stand. Now we're getting into our sides and focusing a bit more acute movement, side deltoids. Probably do two movements for side deltoids, one movement for front delt, and then we'll tag on some triceps today. It's a bit light. Slow it down. Actually, <laughs> watch when I go up, where the fuck is wrong? Uh, I told him it was too light. I think I fucked up because this might be too heavy, but for the games, brother. For the games, mate. <laughs> Stop posing in the gym, because you know how everyone tells me, oh, you look sick. Everyone says, oh, you look four weeks out. I'm like, nah, no, I don't look four weeks out. Do you look good in bad lighting? When you get in good lighting, you're going to look amazing. He thinks I'm a prick. Nah, he's harder on me, but it's from a place of love, it's, isn't it? I'm harder on the guy that I've got high, higher expectations for. Because I'm, I'm not the one that's going to give out compliments to it. I'll tell him two days out, you look good. No, no, he told me on the day of my last show, the whole show, he never said anything. Never said told, he goes, you're going to win. Yeah. Like, 10 minutes before I got on stage, he goes, you're going to win. I won. And I was like, yeah. fucking hell. Came here, last time I saw my coach, 17 weeks out. Honestly, I was fucking embarrassed. I had a wedding and stuff, and I just got so sloppy. But he told me he'll pull it together. And now, look how much leaner I am. So, bro, having a coach is so important. Like, I'm a coach, but I have a coach for a reason. And like, I can't explain the importance of coaching. It's so important. Just for someone to tell you, this is what you need to do, and the result's there. So, honestly, shout out to my coach. So, we've done side lateral raises, hit the laterals, got them nice and warm, compound Smith press, compound Atlantic press, another movement of side deltoids. Now we're going to finish on a side deltoid, then a little front deltoid. Delta always a quicker session. Um, and we're going to actually go with the bent supported side lateral raise. I think it's the best, it removes the momentum. When people tend to get too heavy on the side raises, they start to lean over. This eliminates the tension, so you can't go as heavy, but it's much more acute than to hit in the deltoids. Delts are fried. <laughs> Fried, fry. Tight. <laughs> I like to lean forward a bit. Sometimes it's about modifying movements to suit your movement patterns. You know, my favorite body part to train now is back. I used to love chest, now I like back. Get a little one second in that, in that contraction. Oh, you need to fake, get the correct shape. So fast, just going through some posing eight and a half. See where he's at. Looking pretty good. A few tweaks, but he's where he needs to be, which is the most important thing. It's not about being ready early. It's not about being behind. It's about being ready on time. So just finish that fast, eight and a half weeks out. We'll probably get another video in about four weeks out, show you the, the changes in the physique every four weeks. But really happy with where he is um, and follow him, keep updated with his journey and, and, and myself as well. And yeah, it's been a pleasure. So we just wrapped up a delt session. Chase had a look at me. He's happy with where we're at. 
So what I'm going to do now is every two weeks, give you guys a little update into how prep's going. Hopefully the big man's happy and we'll go from there. Well, yeah, he's in a very good position. Good amount of food considering, you know, we've pulled him harder in the past, so happy with where he is. Um, and in eight weeks, he'll be in a very different spot, but he, right now he's on target. So yeah, follow his journey.